Hi guys, we're back with part of the reason I want to get up early so I can get Crash in the show because she hasn't been in forever. So I don't know. I, she might know that that new uh, climber thing is there, but I'm just going to for now. I don't want it to be out in the middle of her running. I'm going to put it over here. She understands that exercise as having a code. And if you said, what does she retrieve? Anything. I found a few items similar to the things that she gets. My phone case, Greg's old collar. She didn't understand we threw it in the trash. Oh, Susan, if you're there, I found this in the cabinet. Blue's old cowbell. I remember I had to take it off and hide it. Anytime they heard it, they'd go berserk, all of them. I'm surprised they're not doing it now. Oh, if those shepherds hear a bell. No, they're not doing it. Anyway, I'll just put this in here. When she find that little, she'll find that little piece that broke off, too. And then this bottle. And then she loves to get the balloons. I'm telling you, she'll get this cone. That's why I can't have a cone. Let me show you why I can't have a cone. So if you said, well, how does she know to do it? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I realized though, life brought me that dog. Life brought me that dog. My, my exact words was crippled. This poor dog, and I did. I took it out of emotion. She's such a cute, playful little puppy. And I said, I'll find a way or make one. I, I honestly didn't realize she would be this good. All right, she's in there sound asleep. She doesn't have any clue what's going on. So I just put the collar on her, and she. I'm just going to open the door. She'll probably come prancing out here.
So if you said, how does she know what to do? Who knows? Who knows? I will just give her the psychic command to start looking. I do think she understands if I'm facing this way. See what I mean, Mike? That's she keep casting. Oh, she just can't get him back fast enough. She does it too. It's a stripped down dog. I understand. That's what this dog, I understand, Mike. That, oh, she's going to go pee, but she's taking it with her. There is an activation system in dogs. It's activated by, by, by vibration that can instantly activate the dog. And if you said, what are you basing it on? This one. This one. Because if you said, why? Well, oh, she's, uh, she likes to go outside. <laughs> Crash, I'm over here, Crash. She's all disoriented. She's got to go back. I had to go back to the cone. Thank God I remembered to put the cone there. Um, but she can go from zero to 60 for her, which is she starts running towards the door and stuff. If those big shepherds, oh, I gotta guard it. Um, if those, and if you said the vibrations from all those, from Benjamin, Ellie, Elliot, and Andre, she can feel, it seems like. needed her water first.
and there is no wind. And I think I'm not as technical as I could be about that, but you do need to take that into account if you want them to be successful. If the wind is totally going against them, then you're doing it wrong. Oh, she smells it now. <coughs> She'll go bad. She does it kind of look in the doghouse. See her looking on the roof. My job is to stare at those peas. My job is now to accept this wagon as though it was the greatest gift ever. I should get it all the way over here. Once she knows my hand is on it. And then you said you touched her. I do bump her incidentally. I gosh, it's here now. Now you've got to do, all right, hang on. i got to get rid of this stuff. She'll keep bringing it to me. Yeah, yeah, she takes advantage of me just like everyone else. Oh, she'll just keep bringing me this thing. Let me see if I can do a send away. And the way I kind of do it, I can't send anything now for too long either. She'll make me repay for it. If I point my arms forward. Remember, I used to do that. try to do the pointing. Or I can try jockeying the handler. Same thing as with the other ones. If I jockey the handler, I might get a better result. Always remember that. I'm going to draw a trail. Watch.
I'm not sure. She's gonna have another go at it though. No, not this again, Crush. All right, let me try drawing the trail. Now that was too easy, Crush. Now you followed me over there. Okay. She'll go back. If I just ignore the wagon, she might not get to me. That's what I try to do. And you said, what do, you, what do they do in the house? They give me every blanket off the couch. I have to pay for every blanket. <laughs> oh, you're awful, Crush. Okay, hang on. Jockey the handler. Jockey the handler here. Oh, there she's on the trail now. Did you see that? She started to find it. I can see the footprints in the dirt. Yeah, that's what she's following. my recall. I have to be careful that she doesn't find all that stuff over there. I'll be forced to pay for it again. All right, come on, Crash. You gotta do better than this. I know you can find the keys are your favorite. The keys are your favorite. All right, so she usually kind of sits there a minute. She tries to read my thoughts. continually leaves the area of the fall. That's what I don't understand. All right, hang on, here's my recall. There are ways I don't have to buy all that other stuff. All right, hang on. She'll probably hook around that thing. I, I knew she was going to hook around that thing, Mike. I mean, I understand where you've got to have...
physical points that they can orient to. Because remember the very first time I put the cone and she went down there, she did that little hook. I can feel her getting ready to do it. Okay, here we go. Now I have to pay for all the other stuff. Okay, now you have to show me a retrieving crash because she can feel the bowls drop. I think that's how she started picking up the bowls. Mo Molly, get out of the way. All right, so watch. She'll feel it in the ground. You said she didn't feel it. She totally felt it. If she's on the thing, I can do... All right, hang on. You'd be hard pressed. I, I honestly, now that I think about it, Mike, maybe think that's why she started picking them up. And if you saw him, Nachos knocks them down all the time. That's all he does. All right, I'm gonna do it. Her feet are not on the ground, but let's see if... If you said your neighbors can hear that all the way over there, I'm sure they can. <laughs> but yeah, it's, her feet weren't even on the ground. Let's see if it's better if her feet are on the ground. You see her cock her head? All right, let me do it with this. No, this one's heavier. This one's heavier. Hang on. Heavier, but it definitely didn't make the ringing sound because it's insulated. I still think she felt it though. I understand there's some type of system. This is what I understand. This is what this dog taught me. There's some type of system in these animals that can be activated via vibration. Alright, let's try this thing. Blind send away. Blind send away for the bowl. But I'll have to pay for all this stuff first. Okay. Now, as she's waiting, she's waiting to feel the vibration. Uh, what else would she be waiting for? <laughs> you know, I, what else would she have to wait for? There's nothing else to wait for. There's no other cue to wait for. There isn't any other cue. All right, hang on. Molly went over there. Now she knows the other one's there. Look at how funny. You're so funny, Crash. I love you so much, Crash. That's what the dog taught me. And if you said, well, make it stop, control its impulse to do that. Oh, Jesus, Tracy, I can't. She used to run away. I couldn't catch her. It was so bad. A blind dog, a deaf, you still can't catch this thing? Jesus, we're crippled compared to these things. She's got that hook back behavior, though. A lot of it's a cautionary tale. You know, if it's got all these bad behaviors, it might sounds like it might have learned it even in within the first couple days with you. Anyway, she's not handicapped at all. I don't even think of her that way. I don't. She knows all her turns, too. Hang on, let me get rid of this stuff. So if you said, well, then if this thing is supposedly has this system that can be activated with this pager, then you ought to be able to. Hi, Tamara. 
Hi, Michael. I don't know if you've ever seen this one before, Michael, but that's what this dog taught me. I told Mark, this is a stripped down dog. It's stripped down to the essence of a dog. It can't see or hear. But I understand there's no way to turn it off if those big shepherds start barking. It is. It's like nobody's going to say, but what people said, nobody's going to sneak up on you. Got it. But she can feel that, and that's that's what she's waiting for as a cue. And if you said, "Why well, she's got nothing else. She doesn't have anything else. All right, hang on. Let me move this thing. I'll show you her feet. She has the exact same obedience as the other one. I'm going to teach her to go on the little slide. So all you do is activate my pager. That's my recall. And if you said, well, how do you know she's doing it? She starts stepping her feet. <laughs> you little monkey crash. So then I just get her right on my leg. Obviously, like her seeing eye dog, she's got to be right next to my leg or she's disoriented. So I just touch her incidentally. I don't, you know, like tap her on the shoulder, nothing like that. <laughs> uh, she bends, she bends just like the other one. And you said, how are you doing the bend? I'm activating the pager. I'm activating the pager. I gotta hurry too, she gets the, and you said, what about the other way? Same thing, activating the pager. I could probably get her up on that little footstool. He said, oh, I've seen better healing than that. The baby's blind and deaf! She doesn't know it. She totally knows it's me. Oh, she's looking at her busy. And she goes backwards, too. What are you activating the bend with, with the pager? Same with the other one. What? If you said that looks nothing like the turns of the other It looks nothing like the turns. It looks exactly like the turns of the other ones. <laughs> so that's what we have to say to ourselves. And if you said, I don't believe you, then I'd say prove it because this is my observation. I understand what. It's... And she's got a default down. Oh, uh, hang on, let me go there. So there's my pager. She knows that's active. It's activating something. She's not having, she just got up when she felt it. Look at her toes. Oh, look at her go. Oh, there's my recall. She's looking for me. She's like, where's, where's the pop? So I just touch her incidentally. I don't like, oh, here, I'm over here, anything like that. It just, oh, she felt my hand. Okay. Or I'll kind of just bump into her. All right, now she's going to lay down. Watch. If you said, when did she do that? The very first day. The very first day I got her, I think. The second or third. And so, you mean, you said for over a year it's done that exact, yeah, that's the scary part. That's the scary part. Now she'll shift over on her hip. She almost did it. She's just trying to think, am I there? She'll do it, hang on. Yeah, she's just, no, she goes, okay. She wasn't sure if I was there or not. Okay, here we go. If you said, what do you have to do? As soon as she goes down, just give her a reward.
that she learned it the very first day, and it's not going away. So you have to say to yourself, this dog has a lot of bad habits. They may have learned these from me. Let's see, so then she'll shift on her hips, and then if that works, now watch her. She'll sh possibly shift back the other way. I just remember that because when she was a puppy, I said, oh, she's a shape-shifting puppy. Oh, hi, Holly. I'm sure you remember Crash. What a little living doll. She's going to shift the other way. Watch. And if I hurry up and get over there, then if you said, when she oh, she'll do it forever. Mm -hmm. She's thinking of it. She's not sure where I am. She's like, Molly's there, but where's this thing at? And she knows I'm there. So I just bump the platform. She can know I'm there. She's gonna lay down, watch. It's a stripped down dog. It's a stripped down dog. If you said I did you think it would have any level of trainability? No, I didn't, but I understand now. That's the level we need to be training them at, you know, that if this thing has some type of pre-installed system that causes it that can be activated by vibrations. Hey, here's an idea. Let's exploit that. So there's my pager. Here's my pager. She hit me with her tail, so she knew where I was. It's just the same as every other one. You're kidding, that pager is activating something. Do I know exactly what? No. All right, let me do my recall. Once she hits the grass, she knows. And you said, how'd you know it was a recall? Because as soon as she starts taking her feet like that, she's looking for the platform. And if you said, when did she learn that? The very first day. The very first day. I'll go back. I can. Oh, here's an idea, Mike. I'll go back and reenact the very first video where she did all these things. That's the crazy part. Yeah, that's the crazy part. It was does the exact same thing. Now she's gonna shift onto her hips, watch. She's thinking about what is my next move. And that's my job if she she's fighting herself to do it. Trying to figure out where I'm at. She's thinking, what she's thinking to herself is that'll bring it over here. And, but she's not sure where it is. She, but she's, if you said, when was the last time you were, I don't even know when I worked on it, but I know it was there from a puppy. Because what she concluded was, ah, if I do that, it appears. Now she might shift the other way now. She was a shape shifting puppy and she would just start doing like little shifting around. Yeah, she almost went on. Yeah, there we go. She's almost going on the other side. No, she got up. All right, here's my recall. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, she's probably going to lay down. It's, you know. <laughs> if you said, what's her next move? I'll give you one hint. I'll give you one hint. She's going to lay down. I know she got up. She likes this. All right, here's my recall. <laughs> oh, it's the funnest dog ever. I never loved a dog more than this dog. I understand that's what it is, though. It's a stripped down dog. And if you're gonna do a lot of, you're gonna be forced to come to some really realistic conclusions or you're not gonna have any level of success, you know? that I better be a keen observationist because, you know, the only information this thing's got is, you know, if she was terrible, well, that would be my fault. She's probably going to lay down and watch. She's either going to get to do this. She's now sort of starting to think if I run over that way, I should call me back. She does spend a lot of time like that looking and trying to figure out where I am. <laughs> And I appear just like that. If you said, do you appear and then toss her head? No, I don't. I very delicately give her the treat. If you said, what's her next one? She's probably going to lay down, yeah. 
you know, she's trying to figure out a formula to get rewarded. I, if you said, well, other dogs aren't, they're all doing that. You know, and that's why if you start out saying nothing in life is free, that makes you somebody who wants something. And I'll tell you, that makes you unlikable. Whereas if you're someone who has something someone wants, well, that makes you a lot more likable. So you got to get over your head. Nothing in life is free because then all you are is somebody that wants something. Not even wants, demands. You're not even going to get your food unless you sit. It's awful. I guys, oh, scratch, you're awful. It would be an interesting case study, though, to go back and say what behaviors that persisted in this dog since it was a puppy. And if you said you can't, well, now it's tired, you can't activate that system in the dog. And that's the crazy part. They, you can have a dog, it's all tired, supposedly, whatever. Go to your house, mailman knocks on the door. System activation! school that'll be the graduation test yes Holly I'm opening a school for trainers you may want to do it just as a hobby you of all people can feel the pain of owners what owners are going through with an out-of-control dog and how hard it is to really enjoy them and you, you people just you robbing a dog of a better life a life less ordinary by not having them train because oh I've got people they don't take this dog outside their house they don't even go on vacation the dog is so awful there's no one that can watch it that one guy Jimmy oh he's such a I don't want to say Melissa oh, this guy biggest whiny baby I've ever seen oh blazer blazer gets out of the car she's blazer blazer you know Bla I said Jimmy I'm the only person on the planet that can watch this dog so let's try if you said do your recall <laughs> even then she gets a little off course as she hits things though she figures out you know it's just <laughs> now that's how you have to look at it behaviors are a reflection of what I don't know it's a very, very interesting case, though, and it certainly speaks to the validity of this methodology. If you said, I, I don't see anything here, <laughs> I'm about to get a bunch of blind, deaf dogs and show you how weak your training is, lady, I'd say, please, show me. I don't even understand it. I don't even understand. Except for that it's all on video, exactly how I got to this point of a dog that would find things like that. You know, that would go and bring you things. And if you said, what does she do all the time? Sometimes I'm just, it's like a three-year-old. She's just like a persistent three-year-old. She just keeps bringing me, bringing me. And she, if you said, what kind of things? Oh, anything. Piece of paper that big. A great big bowl. Oh, the giant box from Amazon. A oh, scrap of something this big. <laughs> my phone, my glasses. <laughs> yeah, she grabbed my phone the other day and got it. She was, oh, quick, 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 quick. <laughs> all right, guys, be right back.